Hi guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager and in today's video, I'm going to show you another little feature of our virtual add-on and this is related to our sessions uh, section and over here, I'm going to show you how the raise and feature works and what you can expect out of it. So let's uh, get the concept uh, clear to first. What is raise hand and what it does? If you may ask, uh, I'm going to go back to our attendees view over here. So this session is right now live. Reason feature allows our attendees to join the stage and have a discussion with our speakers and our host in the same stage itself. If they have any kind of question they would like to ask or if, you, uh, if they have like a topic they would like to discuss. That's pretty much uh, what the raise and feature does. It allows our attendees a guest entry to the main stage or to the backstage uh, in order to have a discussion with our uh, speakers. So how that works, if you may ask, it's pretty simple to use and pretty easy to use as well. All you have to do is click on this uh, raise hand button over here as an attendee. And in the backstage uh, where our organizers or our speakers are, they will able to see a raise hand request over here. So you see the raise hand request over here and we'll be able to accept or reject a raise and request from an attendee uh, if you are an, a host or an organizer speakers do not have the ability to accept or reject uh, the uh, request or raise and request uh, from the backstage so they can view it but they cannot accept or reject it only can the organizer and the host and the co-hosts can accept or reject a raise and request so a raise and request will uh, look like something like this uh, it's 10.05 right now and the uh, action buttons are either accept or reject. So over here I'm gonna come back to that uh, in a, a moment uh, but let's go on the attendee section. Uh, once you have applied or raised your hand uh, on the stage you can withdraw it as well and how to do that it's pretty simple uh, all you have to do is click on the raise and button once again and it will go ahead and withdraw your raise and request from the state and if we come back to our organizer section uh, it will delete the raise and request as well from the organizer side so that's the uh, way to undo your or withdraw your raise and request now talk about how to accept or reject them and what happens if you do so so let's click on the raise and request once again and I'm gonna go back here and reject it for this time and if I click on reject and quickly switch back to our attendee section you will be see uh, once a raise and request been declined the attendee who has applied for the raise and request they will get a, a error message over here that will say that your raise and request been declined and they can uh, reapply for the raise hand once again so that's the decline process let's talk about the approve process or what happens when you approve a raise and request as an organizer or as a host so basically over here you can click on the accept button and what it will do it will uh, invite your attendee uh, into the stage and they can have a discussion over there as you can see we have joined the stage as an attendee as a guest uh, to talk with our organizer in this session itself and when you are active in this stage obviously you won't be able to raise your hand since that won't make any sense uh, that's pretty much it and you can leave this stage as an attendee as well when you have joined this stage as a uh, attendee or as a guest by a raise and request that you can do via uh, this end uh, end call button over here uh, in order to leave the stage you can just uh, click the button over here and it will uh, kick you out from the stage itself but you will be still on the session and you can uh, still see other attendees other uh, host if they are talking about something you can still hear them you can interactively talk here in the feed uh, submit question answer answer to the polls as well all the stuff will work only a difference it will make if you click on this red call in button it will uh, you will leave this stage as a speaker and will uh, go back to being a normal ordinary attendee and for organizers if you think an attendees uh, discussion is over uh, you won't like them uh, any longer to be present on this stage you can also kick them as well so when you hover their uh, video preview over here uh, you will be able to see like this red cross button over here uh, if you click that it will kick out the attendee from the stage and they will go back to bring uh, being a normal attendee so if i click this you'll see uh, our uh, chrome window over here uh, we have re-enabled raise and button since we've been kicked from the stage and we are now an ordinary attendee once again 
So that's the organizer's way to kick someone out uh, when they joined via the raisin request. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, self disconnect feature. Okay. So I'm going to accept this once again. And if I come back here, uh, I'll be able to see like the raise hand request uh, got accepted and I am on the stage and in order to leave the stage I can just click on this button and it will make me leave the stage and I'll be still on the session talking with each other uh, other talking with other attendees watching the uh, panel discussion that's going on in the session itself on the stage. So that's the recent feature. It basically allows our attendees to join with our speaker and host in the stage in order to have a discussion. And we have some management features about that as well. I hope this video gives you a bit of idea about the recent feature and how you can use it. So let me know in the comment if you have any kind of question, any kind of queries or any feature request, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be sure to take a look at them and maybe implement them in our next release as well. So that's pretty much concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff and maybe subscribe to the channel. So until next time, I'm just saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.